Today I'm going to show you how to make paleo oatmeal. The recipe is really simple. It's nut based with some seeds and it's inside of my cookbook, the best grain free family meals on the planet. If you're eating paleo and grain free and have a family, this is a terrific resource with tried and true recipes that are family friendly as well. What I love about this recipe is that everything is going to go in our blender and the blender does all the chopping and dicing for us. So I have some walnuts. These are raw walnuts. Uh, you can also get toasted walnuts. So I'm going to put these in the blender. I also have some cashews or cashew pieces. You want them raw. It's okay if they're toasted, just unsalted raw or toasted cashews. To my nuts, I'm going to add the seeds. I have chia seeds. Chia seeds are gonna thicken up this uh, paleo hot cereal, and they are also add omega-3s and fiber into our bowl. And here I have flax meal. Flax meal, also really rich in nutrition, so we add that in there. To make this taste super delish, we are adding some cinnamon. I'm going to add a tablespoon of cinnamon, a little bit under a tablespoon, but depends on how much cinnamon you like. Now in the cookbook, I do give you a nut-free option for this paleo cereal if nuts are something that you're trying to avoid or there's a nut allergy in your house. And the final thing that I'm going to add into my blender is almond milk. Again, if you are following the cookbook and want to do a nut-free recipe, you would use a different milk alternative for this. All right guys, so all we have to do is blend our ingredients in the blender until you have a thick, a little bit of smooth texture to this hot cereal, but a few chunks remain if you love a little texture to your oatmeal. Now this mixture needs to sit here for about five to 10 minutes for the chia seeds and the flax meal to absorb some of the moisture and thicken up. Now, this is another reason why this is also something that you can do at night. Take your pitcher, refrigerate it, and in the morning, all you have to do is heat up your bowl of hot paleo cereal. All right, guys, there are two ways to enjoy this grain-free hot cereal. One is by, once you've let it sit for about five to 10 minutes, pouring it into your bowl and enjoying it cold, or, taking your bowl and microwaving it and heating it up. That is also gonna speed up the thickening of your paleo cereal. Method number two is to take your paleo cereal and pour it right into the stovetop where you're gonna heat it up and thicken it up. I wanna show you what it looks like when I just take it out of the microwave. As you can see, our hot paleo oatmeal has thickened up and as it cooks, it also absorbs the liquid. It does have that thick, porridge texture that we love in the morning, but no grains. And right here on the stove, I'm doing the same thing. You wanna bring the mixture to a simmer and then turn off the heat and letting it sit for five minutes so that it thickens up just like our microwave version. Now, once my paleo oatmeal is ready, I like to load it up with some fruit, like, straw like sliced strawberries or blueberries. There's a lot of toppings that you can use in your paleo oatmeal as long as they are grain free. Sprinkling some nuts or seeds right over the top is also a great idea. Now, if you love recipes like this one that are simple and yet great healthier alternatives are grain free, you may wanna take a look at the link right below this video where I'm going to share with you how you can transform a lot of the recipes that you already love into a grain-free and paleo version. All right, guys, let's take a quick close-up at this paleo hot cereal, oatmeal, whatever you want to call it. Mm. So good, it has a really thick and rich breakfast hot cereal texture that we all love. And, oh, the measurements, the directions, all that good stuff is gonna be right below this video in the description box. And while you're down there, Hit that red subscribe button. You and I get to cook together a few times a week and have a great time in the kitchen. See you next time.